Guys, it's breaking news. They've only gone and done it. They've released the lineup of the Marvel San Diego Comic Con exclusives for 2018. These are amazing. I mean, strap on your seatbelts and get ready for this. I am very excited and my wallet is feeling the burn already. My wallet has gone from chunky to nigh on anorexic just by looking at these photos because honestly, these are awesome and I'm going to waste no more time. I'm going to get right into showing you these guys. Let's get to it. Right guys, first up is this new four in the Ragnarok film. This is where he actually manages to use his powers without his hammer for the first time with the Mjolnir. And I love those effects with the chains and the um, lightning round his hands. Not chains, sorry, the lightning all round his hands. That looks fantastic. And the really big um, blue bright eyes, that looks really cool. It's a really nice addition to Thor and something that we, it's a bit It's a bit lazy with the new, with the Thor, but you know, this is my least favorite one in the way, but it's looking pretty cool and something I'm definitely looking into picking up because for such an epic character. Then guys, we are getting this Ant-Man pop. This is like an original costume Ant-Man, which is really, really cool. With the Ant-Man film hitting the cinemas in the next month or so, this is a really nice addition. We're getting the new Ant-Man wave coming, and this is just the original Ant-Man. Looks cool, I love that helmet. Just looks fantastic. I love the original Ant-Man costume design, the colors of the blue and the red. This just really looks well in pop form and fantastic San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. One at the top of my list. This is one at the top. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for all of the pops in this wave. This is probably the best wave announced this far for San Diego Comic-Con. And I just can't wait to see if anyone's gonna beat these pops on this list. Then guys, we have here the cheerleader Deadpool. This is looking really cool with the pink attire on there, his cheerleading outfit. This is one of many of the different variants of the Deadpool that are available and coming out. I think we've got like a Burger King version, a KFC version. I know we've got, I think it's, a, it's been a pirate Deadpool previously. There's been tons of Deadpools and this is another one here. And it's looking pretty cool in his cheerleader outfit. I really like this and it's a cool pickup and um, a nice San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Now guys, I am in love with this pop. We are getting the original Iron Man pop. The first ever costume that Tony Stark builds in that cave when he's trapped by the terrorists in the film and obviously in the comic books. But this is amazing. This looks so good. Uh, it's a, such about time we got this. We get all these different Iron Man figures and pops from all the different toy companies. And I'm so glad they're finally giving us the original suit Iron Man that he builds in that cave in the first film. How amazing does this pop look? This I have to have in my collection. Any Iron Man fan would want this pop, and any Marvel fan. So guys, this is amazing. I cannot wait to get my hands on this one. Another pop I've been so very excited for is the Valkyrie. Now, I had a feeling we were going to get this, because we got a version of the Valkyrie, but why didn't they do her in her a battle scene costume from the end of the film? Now, Valkyrie was a great standout character in Thor Ragnarok, and I hope we see her in films to come. This outfit is amazing as well. I love the colours with the gold plates on it. Just a proper original Valkyrie and this is something like I said I, I, I'm surprised they didn't release an original wave and it makes sense why they've held it back now because that is an awesome San Diego Comic Con pop and one of the ones I'm most excited for in the Marvel sets and I'm definitely going to get this as I've got the Grandmaster Comic Con exclusive from last time so this one's going to make an excellent addition to my collection along with the four from this same San Diego Comic Con exclusive waves and then guys one of the other pops I'm so very excited for is this Kraglin Obviously, he is a character in Guardians of the Galaxy. He ends up taking over from Yondu, and in one of the deleted scenes, he puts Yondu's headpiece on, and he tries to control the flying arrow, which ends up stabbing Drax. But nonetheless, he is going to take over as the new Yondu, I imagine, and he's going to lead that group of sort of uh, people that Yondu used to lead. So it's a really cool uh, addition to the set. He does join the Guardians in a smaller role in the end of the last film, so hopefully we see him again in Volume 3. And this pop here is giving me hope that we will. He's actually, the guy that plays him is the director James Gunn's brother in real life. And it's such a cool pop. He's a character that I would never have suspected we would have got. And I love it. I love the most obscure Marvel characters. And Kraglin is one of those. He's a character in the film, but he's not one that everyone would know. So I'm glad they brought it out in a um, exclusive to help it sell. Because otherwise it would probably have just shelf warmed. But as it's a really cool looking piece, I imagine everyone's going to rush out and pick it up like myself. This is one of my favourite ones in this set. Then guys, my personal favourite one, 
technically Marvel, technically a director, but this is Taika Waititi. This is the man that directed for Ragnarok. This is the genius behind that hilarious film. And he, al and he also provides us the voice for everyone's favourite Ragnarok character, Korg. Now, if that doesn't deserve you to be in a pop, I don't know what does. He's a great, great, great director. He's hilarious. Like I said, he made that film what it was. He looks awesome in his pop form, and I love that pineapple suit he's wearing. That just looks excellent. He is from Hawaii as well, so the pineapples is where that really just looks cool. In that shorts and shirt, pink combination. He's such a great director. We've got another director from the DC Universe in a pop form, so I'm really glad we've got uh, Taika Waititi, and it opens up the door for more director uh, pops in the future. But this is my favourite Marvel pop. Obviously, I loved all of them, and I would love to pick all of these pops up in the future. Like I said, my money is going on Marvel this year by the looks of things. So um, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like it. Drop me a comment down below and let me know what you think of all the Marvel pops that we've got coming out of San Diego Comic-Con 2018. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.